This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's talk about masks, and specifically I'm talking about a clipping mask. One thing to remember about clipping masks is that the item that you're using as the clip must be a vector. So over here I have my little piggy that I drew with my piggy pen tool right there. So it is a vector shape, and that's exactly what we want. We want a vector shape. You can actually mask just about anything else. Definition of a mask is something where you change the shape of another object using the mask. Actually, I shouldn't say shape. You change the outline of what it will look like. So I've got some U.S. dollar signs over on the right, and I've got my little piggy bank over on the left. Let's put these two together. The mask needs to be on top, which it is. If it isn't, for whatever reason, simply go up to the word object and go arrange, bring to front, and it'll put it on top for you. Let's put it over. Let's make them a little bit bigger, too. I'm going to hold the Alt key and the Shift key down. And that'll keep me in proportion and keep it and draw it from center. Maybe something about like that. So we have a bigger piggy. Next step, it's actually pretty easy. Select both of them. Remember, in Illustrator, if you just grab a piece of something, it becomes selected. You don't have to go all the way around it. So if I pick up my selection tool, which I've got, and simply do that, it's going to select both of them. Next step. Go to the word object on the pull down menu and go down to clipping mask make. And there you go. You got a piggy with some dollar signs in it. Now it didn't distort the dollar signs, it only conformed the shape to fit the shape of the pig. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't that weird that I know what you're thinking? You're thinking, well, it's pretty easy. Um, I can kind of maybe see some ways I might want to use that. But let me show you another way you can apply it. Let's go to another image here clipping mask 2. In this one, I have a photograph of Kansas, a Kansas wheat field after it's been cut down. And I have an outline that I drew of the state of Kansas. Now, you might say, well, why Kansas? Why not some other state? You see how easy that is to make? Have you ever tried to take a pen tool and draw Florida or Texas or Oklahoma? They're hard. Kansas is easy. Besides, I live here. We're going to make this bigger. We're going to go to our selection tool, click on it, and just go to a corner and drag it. I'll hold the Alt-Shift keys again. Just make it big enough, not bigger than the image, but big enough. Now, the reason we're doing this again is to demonstrate something. Although the mask must be a vector, what it mask does not have to be, that's photograph. Same thing. Select two. Come up to the word object on the pull down menu and go down to clipping mask, make. And there you go. We've got the state of Kansas at least the way I see it in my head, along with a clipped image of a cut-down wheat field in Kansas. Clipping masks are pretty cool, but hang on, I've got a few more things I can show you with these things. 